Hey everybody, it's Barbara. And today we are looking at uh, Dalmatians? Fashion royalty's gone to the dogs? Well, not quite exactly. Uh, allow me to explain. A while back, and I do mean a while back, uh, fashion royalty, uh, fashion royalty W Club members were invited to take part in getting a gift set that would be ultimately also part of the fashion royalty convention line, and um, it was called Fairy Tale Romance, and the idea was to get Tatiana as she would have if she were envisioned as Cruella Deville. So obviously this is the Dalmatian motif box that she came in. And but that by the way was continued on the back. And I'm trying to cheat here so you don't see the sloppy um part where the doll is, but this was the sketch that we were originally given of what Tatiana could look like. And in fact, uh, this is one of Tatiana's looks. And this is the other. Ladies and gentlemen, Tatiana as Cruella de Vil. And what a heartbreaker this doll is. And I mean that in the best way possible. Let's start, as always, at the top. She is a platinum blonde mixed with raven hair, a very solid mix. Just need to put the camera down for a second while I readjust. So she doesn't fall down. She is a pale skin tone with smoky eyes, grays all through, the traditional don't screw with me brow, applied lashes, and a very pronounced red lip, which you are going to see in her shoes, which we will get to in a second, and her nails, which we will also get to in a second. But I want to talk a little bit more, if I may. I'll put the camera down again. About the Fabu hair, which is both soft and product. There is some product here holding the curls. And here holding this curl. But the back if I can just turn this, the back part, this portion here, and there's a whole lot of this, a whole lot of hair. This part is very soft. So a quick wash and you would be able to restyle this hair, which is really nice. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second, lift the hair up so we can both take a look at the back which closes with the new, kind of a mandarin collar, by the way, closing with the new uh, hook and eyes, which are a whole lot better than the old ones. And I'm just going to bring the camera around so you can also see, here we go, this gorgeous, probably one of the nicest earrings I've seen in a while. Diamante in platinum setting, obviously faux, or we'd never afford it. Very, very nice. And the pattern, if I may, again, I'm putting the camera down to readjust her, is repeat, the jewel pattern is repeated in her bracelet. And you will see it also, by the way, this is the red nail polish that I was talking about, a very strong red nail. The dress, I don't mean to show that much cleavage of her, sorry guys. 
Uh, the dress is cut, obviously cut open in the center. And it's also cut slightly off the right hip here. And of course, there is lining to the dress because this is integrity and it has class. The red shoe is one of the nicest shoes I've seen from them in a very long time. On the one hand, boo, it's a strap, which makes me crazy. But on the other hand, it is a red velvet, spiked heel, very nice sort of, not a bow, but a knot pattern over the toe. Very vampy, very nice, very sophisticated. So this is, this is a really nice night look, which something like this you might even see on the red carpet at the Golden Globes this year, because supposedly the rumor is everybody is going to be wearing uh, black to protest uh, what's been going on in the industry. So that's look number one. And I'm just going to take her off the stand to show you uh, the fashion world, the fashion fairy tale, fairy tale romance stand. It has um, a tree that appears to be giving you the peace sign, fashion fairy tale, and this is what the accessory box is going to look like. And this particular uh, palette of colors, the gray tree, the white and the gold, uh, that's on most of the fashion royalty boxes, not uh, Tatiana's box. But, and, and I paused because I was thinking, and what I will do is uh, for my next reveal of Tatiana in her other look, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that with one of the other boxes so you can see what the other what the other convention boxes look like. So stay tuned. I know I said there were two looks to Tatiana, but then I realized uh, the skirt, the dress, which I thought was one piece is actually two. And the top part actually could double as a piece of lingerie or a swimsuit. So I decided to play with the whole Riviera look, which I've done a, a couple of reviews of recently, and sort of tie the Riviera look into the convention look and dress Tatiana in the bodysuit part of the gown and the fur coat that comes with the gown. It is obviously faux fur. Um, they tried using real fur a while back and there was a lot of discussion about it. So they've stayed away from it since, but it is very soft fur. It's very nice. Um, it's, it's not a full length. It's comes to about the knee. If I can push it back a little bit more and push this down. You'll see it comes just about to the knee. Um, and just to come back in close again to show you, uh, the lining is a ruby red, royal red, Christmas red uh, to match the shoes and her toes and her hands. So if you want to just come re down real fast, I'll show you that her toes are also red and manicured. So that's look number two for Ms. Tatiana DeVille. And let's go ahead and take a look at look number three. And here is look number three for Tatiana. I got to admit, when I first saw this look, I, I immediately thought, oh my God, the skirt somehow got damaged and actually no um this is the cut it's supposed to be that rougher edgier ripped look 
like maybe the dogs have gotten to her. That's how it's supposed to look. Um, it's a very soft leather skirt. It is also because, again, this is fashion royalty. Um, it is lined toward the top, but not all the way through. So it's lined to the bottom of the thigh, but not all the way through, just to give it that, again, that lighter, my dog has attacked me feel. Uh, the rest of the look is the Dalmatian pattern blouse. Uh, the very nice oval cut diamond on one hand. And in the second set of hands that you get, the gripping hand, you can insert and she will freely hold her cigarette holder. Uh, it is the diamond encrusted cigarette holder that if you remember from all the way back in the Voyages line, hint in clue clue, again, travel, very nice look. Um, in the original sketch that I showed you that came with her box, uh, the, she wears the red shoes. I decided to be a little matchy matchy and I put her in the um, supposed to be Dalmatian patterned shoes, but they're actually more like um, snakeskin and I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'm just going to put the camera down, lift her up and forward so you can see the shoes. Again, the very pointy spiked heel the with the the spike peeking out of the skin it really that you could see what i mean now that this looks much more snakeskin but it is a platform at the sole of the foot at the ball i should say and just to turn it back around just to show you that the cut continues throughout the skirt uh, so yes this is Tatiana as Cruella de Vil. She was the first hint of the kind of styling they were going to do for the fashion royalty line. And I'm just going to very quickly now do a reverse reveal because usually it's lift the box and you see these dolls are going to look like but in a reverse reveal you had a sort of storybook effect to the boxes just to very quickly without giving away too much just to say that to scroll up you have what looks like a bookmark at the top the pages and of course the pages down the side So it, it, this was the convention line. It's if you're going to buy the convention line, now is the time because the, the initial insanity is over. The prices are coming down. You should be able to get uh, these dolls with relative amount of ease. Uh, Tatiana is a little harder. She was a W she was offered to W club members. She might be a little trickier to get. Um, the reason to get her is it's Tatiana. Uh, the other reason to get her is the black dress. And again, the amazing earrings that she comes with and the nice ring and the cigarette holder. Honestly, not in love with the skirt. That's just not, it's not them. It's me. It's just not my style. Um, I don't like it. I'm sure other people do that are a lot more trendier. But uh, yeah, so if you can, I mean, so this, this, the Tatiana gift set you would get for the shoes and the fur and the black dress and the jewelry. You wouldn't necessarily get it for the business look. Okie dokie. So this is the first of my reviews of the Fashion Fairy Tale collection. Kind of tied it back into the Riviera. So we're going to jump now from Riviera to uh, Fashion Fairy Tale. So just, I'll see you 
uh, with quite a few, actually, of the fashion fairy tale dolls. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do reviews of them. Uh, so just hang tight, and we'll see how that works out. I'm Barbara. Take care, and I'll see you soon.